Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Right. We get to about we gonna destroy you. We gonna do this. But one thing I ain't gonna do, bro, I ain't finna fight no woman and no homosexual. And I don't know <laughs> if that's a big regret. I don't want to say that. <laughs> but hey, well, if you I'm fight Wayne, if you, if you fight hey, you you back, fight, <laughs> we are gonna have to. And the nah, other one. Sure. And, the other, and the other one I already touched on. You know what I mean? Who will name my own? You talking question. about Christopher Love, boy? Who, yeah, That's already wrong. touched on him. Uh, already touched on her. Uh, you ain't touched on me. Uh, uh -huh. you ain't, you ain't hit me. You ain't already you ain't touched hit me. on her. Hey, I went to Mexico with her like four times, four different fights, and 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 and, and, and I paid for the the the, the uh the little the little uh uh Mexicans to take the dive. Oh yeah, they gonna take the dive, so you pay them. Yeah, you pay them a hundred and it goes up. up. Yeah, that's how he got the. That's how he got the night. You know, so nobody you never seen one. For this uh, yeah, man, I, I went you... to Mexico with him two times. Let me tell me like three, four times. See, I didn't know it was that deep. How did you meet this this uh dude, bro? Cause he, I to be like a mystery with no history. This is no. This what is, it was is he came as a, he came as a bag. He came around as a bag, and, and and you know, if you if you if you if you, you come around as a bag, he always like he send money to everybody in prison. Like if he hear anybody in prison, he gonna send him money because he's trying to make friends. Uh, he'll send money to anybody in prison. Anybody don't matter. You know what I mean? So he he ain't never been from the turf. That nigga paying to play. <laughs> you know hey, what I mean? Hey man, and, don't and hate the payer. <laughs> you can't hit the payer. Yeah. This, this is the question I got. Pay. This is the question I got for you, Big U. Who is the we she keeps saying we gonna take you down? Who's the Bro, we behind this? The, the we was the one she called on the phone. Oh, the CS2 back 137 confidential source character. Got she it. Called, she Got called it. somebody on the phone. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. who was that? Okay, right. well, look, you you got to give us the, the, the details on why you had to uh, we slap my own glove board. We, was over, we weren't slap boxing. We was in gloves. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. We weren't slap boxing. We was in gloves. We was at my little homeboy house. My little homeboy was like, man, uh, and it wasn't even just him. It was one of my, it was him and another one of my, my little homeboys. We all got in the gloves. I got in the glove with both of them. And I told him, I said, if, we, if he pumping him up to get in the gloves, he's like, man, let me just see what you got. Okay, you can see what I got. He <laughs> put the gloves on. So y'all get in the gloves, and then uh, what? What was? The, how that go? Was it one round? Did he fight back? Did he get any? Uh, he did some more bull crap. You gotta understand, man. Where I come from, we love boxers. Where I come from, we love boxers. We love people that are stationary, throwing jabs, and, and they throw a jab, wait for it to come back, throw a hook, whatever they're going to throw. That's what we wait for. Right. I, I fight different. You know what I mean? Like, I fight like you see with these MMA dudes. You know, we got rules. If an MMA, I feel like ain't no MMA ever pulled to lose no boxer, period. Mm -hmm. And that's the only, the only thing, only way that's going to happen is we have to confine and conform to their rules. Everything right. that we're able to do, everything we're able to learn and do, I'm going to give it to him. Oh, On our inevitable yeah. encounter, I'm going to give him everything that I, my mama ever paid for me to learn, Jack. Well, well you, you told him to pull up that you need that. You out there every day. I mean, what's every the day. hold up? He, I mean, he, he pulled up on us every day. He just want to <laughs> talk, man. He just want to <laughs> talk, man. He pulled hey, up on a 64, he put up on a 64 year old man. He gets uh, to do that to me too, cause I'm not gonna have no blower. I ain't gonna have no blower. I don't ride around with no blower. I don't need one. You know what I mean? I don't do nothing to nobody, but I'm not gonna have no blower. Now he's still scared. He ain't pulled up. Well, we need to do. We we do need to understand the fact that he don't just got a blower. He got a registered firearm. No, no, that's a good question. Why did you say that he don't have? Registered uh firearms. Well, this is what I said. I said I don't know what he got, but I like him to pull the paperwork up since he got it and let us see it. Secondly, right. I don't know how he are. He had a felony. He had a felony before everybody else. He had a felony for fraud at school, making paper fake paperwork. He know that, 
And then he say himself own admittedly he been to jail for several felonies. And getting hey. the felony off and getting the felony off don't get you no burner license. Hell right. no. Now I don't know. Maybe they was dropped the misdemeanors, but why would you have a, a why you need a burner and, and, and go parade around to the world that you got it so everybody be scared? I don't get that. Yeah, that's if that's you kinda, if you if that's... you accomplish if you're an accomplished championship boxer, you ain't never heard Mike Tyson run around not one time talking about I gotta blow him. 